Stampers, it's Kim Vogel with the Basement Bunch Stampers here for another Terrific Tuesday video. Today I'm going to share with you a really fun and simple, easy card that I created for you using the Silhouette Scenes stamp set and coordinating framelits. Um, this bundle together sells for, let me look it up here in my catalog, um, $52. It includes this awesome stamp set that I just showcased for you. I love these different silhouettes. And then it also includes the framelits. And with the framelits, you get this awesome tree framelit, which is what I've used on my card for you today. And then you also get um, three words. You get the word inspire. I know they're backwards here, but you get inspire and you get forever and you get one that says adventure. You also get a dandelion um, framelit as well. Now, if you're not following me yet on Facebook, I encourage you to check me out at Kim Vogel's Basement Bunch Stampers on Facebook. This Thursday for my Touch Base Thursday, I will be showcasing more projects that I made using this awesome, awesome bundle. So let's go ahead and get started with the card that I made for you today. I have a piece of basic black cardstock cut five and a half by eight and a half. And again, you're gonna see how quick and simple and easy this card is to create. I then have a piece of the purple posy cardstock. This is cut um, five and a quarter by four. And I'm not gonna adhere this down just yet because I want to be able to add my stamped images and my tree image because the tree image is a smudge too big and then I just simply trimmed around the edges. So let's go ahead and stamp here first. Let me bring in my Memento Black image or ink here. And I'm bringing in the girl on a swing. Let me get that turned around here. That is the image that we're gonna be stamping. So let me go ahead and ink this up. Now what I did is I, a little tip for you. I did ink up my, um, my, new, my ink pad with some new ink because I wanted this image to be really nice and, and vivid so that it would show up really good on my card. And I've also found that if you hold this in place for a little while, that the ink absorbs into the cardstock a little bit more and you get a better um, stamped image, especially when you have a lot of coverage there. Um, see how awesome that is? So if you were to stamp that really fast and really quick, you might not have gotten um, all of that covered um, the way I did. And so then what I did is I simply adhered this down to my card. So let me go ahead, and this um, circle is from the Layering Circles Framelits. Um, you could also probably use a punch if you wanted to. And I simply adhered this down. Then I used, like I said, I cut out in advance for you that die, the tree die. And I already adhered it um, or put some glue on there using our Tombow, liquid Tombow glue. I find this glue easier to use than our... Um, other glue, the fine tip glue. And I simply lined up these branches with how I have it stamped for the swing. And then I'm just gonna push that down really good. And then all I did is I trimmed around the excess of the tree because I'm not gonna need all of that. So I'm just gonna cut around the edges here You can see that those just come off really good. Get them out of the way because I don't want those to get stuck to my paper. Okay, so there I have the tree. Isn't that awesome? And then I have cut out in advance the word inspire. Make sure I get them glued down good. And I'm just gonna adhere this down to the bottom. And this would be a really good card to give someone who inspires you in any different way, whether it be creatively or in your life, or someone who you, who you just find that helps you along the way. Um, I can't get my glue to come out. Finally got this glue to work. Sorry about that, it had a little bit of a, of a, didn't want to come out very good. And you can see that I am just sporadically adding this glue in little spots all over this image here, or this um, sentiment. Again, you could use the fine tip glue, but I find this one so much easier for me to use. And I'm just centering the word inspire along the bottom of that. And then I'm going to adhere this mat down to a pe my, my base here and using some snail. You'll see how quick and simple and easy this card is to create. There you have a card that I made 
using that awesome die. And like I said, I will be showcasing this in my um, Touch Base Thursday event this Thursday night. Um, so if you missed the live because you're watching this video um, after that date, um, feel free to, to search for Kim Vogel's Basement Bunch Stampers and join my group. And that way you'll be able to um, see all kinds of projects that I create for you and my videos that I do um, up to two times a week. So thank you all for stopping tonight. Today I hope you've enjoyed this project and I look forward to seeing you all next week. Bye!